uh, January 25th, 2016. There's like a lot of emotions that I'm going to try to like tamp down. Scarlett Johansson, I thought. And Angela Davis, I thought I was wrong. This is a, a final to Trident Tech. These are the ladies of Trident Tech and their mean, hard faces that I faced. I'm going to finish up with that. I'm going to... It took days to make this video. This is me. This is the um, Dr. Thornley, who I love. Um, I love my strong white women, like Dr. Thornley. I hate them black bitches that tried in tech. I do love Dr. Thornley. Because no matter whatever she thinks about me, she always tried to include me and make me feel special. These are the bitches of uh, Trident Tech, Charleston Southern, and all the other places. She was nice. She was normal. I don't know what this is right here. I don't know her name, but I know she was the mistress of ceremonies. Black women have become a um, a mascot. They become something to avoid them in their spawn. We've already went over spawn. So they they drop this on you. I have no social media presence, but I feel that in the face of this current political climate, it is vital that we all make it our mission to get really, really personal. So yes, at 15, I had been to a gynecologist. I was living in New York City and had visited a Planned Parenthood there. My mother moved to California a few years before my brother Hunter and I were living with my father. And at 15, I had been working in the entertainment industry for eight or so years and had been fortunate enough to be eligible for private health insurance through my union. Our family struggled financially. We'd been on public assistance for several years, and I was primarily responsible for making my own doctor's appointments. But still, I was nervous about taking this next stride towards womanhood, and it was actually my clinician at Planned Parenthood who suggested I speak with my pediatrician if I was seeking a referral. She was compassionate and professional and told me that she was happy to treat me for regular checkups and when the time came for us to... Black women are like fucking monkeys and shit. They, they just... mug for the camera. Regardless of their abortions. I'm going to end this video. I'm, okay, I'm going to go ahead on. Cancer screenings. No judgment, no questions asked. Planned Parenthood provided a safe place where I could be treated with gentle guidance. Now, I may have been 15 and surprisingly self-sufficient, but I'm sure there isn't one person here who has not been helped by Planned Parenthood directly or otherwise. When I knew I was coming to speak on behalf of women's reproductive and health issues, Every single one of my girlfriends had a story about Planned Parenthood. They saved me so many times. One of my best girlfriends confided in me, saying, they saved my ass and some other parts too. 
When I found out I had precancerous signs I never would have known about without my annual checkups. And her speech grew more em emphatic and emotional as she described how the organization had helped her decide between treatment options. She was able to make some difficult decisions, deciding what was right for her, for her body, and her then partner without anyone else's interference. My sister also used Planned Parenthood services for years after moving states. She had been living her whole life in New York City, pursuing her, whole, her dream to move to California. She had no contacts and no health insurance, but was able to regularly see a doctor at a Planned Parenthood clinic for screenings, advice, birth control, and checkups. For the more than 2.5 million patients a year that rely on Planned Parenthood services for cancer and STD screenings, birth control, safe abortion and pregnancy planning, these are uncertain and anxious times. Lawmakers in 24 states have tried to block patients from receiving care at Planned Parenthood. Congress has voted to limit access to reproductive services nine times. Boo! Yes, boo! There are very real and devastating consequences to limiting access to what should be considered basic health care. For millions of Americans, Planned Parenthood is often the only trustworthy and affordable clinic providing safe education, sex education, safe abortion, and life-saving services. President Trump, I did not vote for you. That said, I respect that you are our president-elect and I want to be able to support you. But first, I ask that you support me. Support my sister, support my mother, support my best friend, and all of our girlfriends support the men and women here today that are anxiously awaiting to see how your next moves may drastically affect their lives. Support my daughter, who may actually, as a result of the appointments you have made, grow up in a country that is moving backwards, not forwards, and who may potentially not have the right to make choices for her body and her future that your daughter Ivanka has been privileged to have. I ask you to support all women and our fight for equality in all things, including the fight to be recognized as individuals who know better for ourselves what is right for our bodies, better than any elected official, popular or... This is the black woman who's been told what to believe by so many people. challenging moment in our history, let us remind ourselves that we, the hundreds of thousands, the millions of women, trans people, men and youth who are here at the Women's March. Anything that's fucked up, anything that is an abomination, anything that is controversial, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, New Year, Happy the New Year, anything that's pagan, you can depend on the black woman to be out front. You can depend on them. We represent the powerful forces of change that are determined to prevent the dying cultures of racism, heteropatriarchy from rising again. We recognize that we are collective agents of history and that history cannot be deleted like web pages. We know that we gather this afternoon on indigenous land. And we follow the lead of the first peoples who, despite 
massive genocidal violence have never relinquished the I just want to just put this in here. I'm going to just let it close out with this. These are the women of Trident Tech. These are the women who denied me. This one right here denied me for um, just a common assistance for electron electricity. That's why she got her head down. I don't know why she got her head down, but I know she did me wrong. Look at the way they're all looking at me. She's ambivalent. She won't make eye contact. I got a camera right in front of them. This is these bitches. I hate them motherfuckers. I hate them. Look how they sell you out. So, at this very challenging moment in our history, let us remind ourselves that we, the hundreds of thousands, the millions of women, trans people, men and youth who are here at the Women's March, we represent the powerful forces of change that are determined to prevent the dying cultures of racism, heteropatriarchy from rising again. We recognize that we are collective agents of history and that history cannot be deleted like web pages. We know that we gather this afternoon on indigenous land. And we follow the lead of the first peoples who, despite massive genocidal violence, have never relinquished the struggle for land, water, culture, their people. We especially salute today the Standing Rock Sioux. The freedom struggles of black people that have shaped the very nature of this country's history cannot be deleted with the sweep of a hand. We cannot be made to forget that black lives do matter. This is a country anchored in slavery and settler colonialism, which means, for better or worse, the very history of the United States is a history of immigration and enslavement. Spreading xenophobia, hurling accusations of murder and rape, and building walls will not erase history. No human being is illegal. The struggle to save the planet, to stop climate change, to guarantee the accessibility of water from the lands of the Standing Rock Sioux to Flint, Michigan, to the West Bank and Gaza, the struggle to save our flora and fauna, to save the air, this is ground zero of the struggle for social justice. This is a women's march, and this women's march represents the promise of feminism as against the pernicious powers of state violence. An inclusive, an inclusive and intersectional feminism. Yes. Yes. An inclusive and intersectional feminism that calls upon all of us to join the resistance to racism, to Islamophobia, 
to anti-Semitism, to misogyny, to capitalist exploitation. Yes, we salute the fight for 15. We dedicate ourselves to collective resistance. Resistance to the billionaire mortgage profiteers and gentrifiers. Resistance to the healthcare privateers. Resistance to the attacks on Muslims, on immigrants. Resistance to the attacks on disabled people. Resistance to state violence perpetrated by the police and through the prison industrial complex. Resistance to institutional and intimate gender violence, especially against trans women of color. Women's rights are human rights all over the planet, and that is why we say freedom and justice for Palestine. We, we celebrate the impending release of Chelsea Manning and Oscar Lopez Rivera. But we also say free Leonard Peltier, free Mumia Abu Jamal, free Asata Shakur. Over the next months and years, we will be called upon to intensify our demands for social justice, to become more militant in our defense of vulnerable populations. Those who still defend the supremacy of white male heteropatriarchy had better watch out. The next 1,459 days of the Trump administration will be 1,459 days of resistance. Resistance on the ground, resistance in the classrooms, resistance on the job, resistance in our art and in our music. This is just the beginning. And in the words of the inimitable Ella Baker, we who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. Thank you. I don't know what's going on. Right? I went to get something to eat. <clears throat> Hell, I don't know how long it was separated, but I, I, I just, I don't hate them, but obviously you can tell by the way that, um, good night.